What is up guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to be doing a review. It's just a quick little review. It's not an in-depth review, but it's just gonna be a quick review on the Attack Pack Dimorphodon from Mattel. So this is another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy. And um, it's really nice, so let's take a closer look. So right away, the detail is already amazing. The, heads, the head looks exactly like the Dimorphodon featured in the movie from the last Jurassic World. And if you look closely on the back, you can see they actually added feathers on it. Either feathers or bristles or something. Even on the wings, there's texturing is really good. You can see all the tiny little scales. You can see the Mattel did a really good job. Same thing with the other wing. It's pretty much the same. So look at all that. All those tiny little scales. Really good sculpt. Even the feet have been carefully sculpted. Now the feet are a little bit big, but that's to help it balance. Sorry, let me let it focus. See? Oh, and also here's the barcode. Let's see. Uh, what does it say? Oh, it's made in China. Copyright Mattel. China, 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 China. Also, China, the, China, the China. tail, it's sort of a bendy rubber. <clears throat> a bendy rubber, so you can like swing it around. I wish there was a bendy wire inside of it so you could like make it look like it's like you can pose it in different poses, but yeah, like the feather on the end is really detailed. Yeah, as far as fine detailing goes, this is a really good figure. As far as painting goes, the paint is very bland, but it works really well. It, it just works. You can see on the bottom of the wing, there's some sort of burgundy, sort of purple color. Oh, and also here's the Jurassic logo right there. Replacing the JW Jurassic oh crap, it's taking forever to focus, but that replaces the JW marker that's on the bottom of the last toy, toy line's foot, like on each dinosaur. I mean, uh, like on their thigh. So yeah, the paint is pretty good, and on the feathers, it's been slightly darkened a little bit to more of a swampy green. Might be hard to tell, but yeah, it's been sort of darkened to a slightly darker sort of grayish green color. So for the articulation, the mouth can open really wide, really wide, so it's like <laughs> it, To be honest, it looks sort of dumb when it's opened as wide as it can go. It's because the jowl line stops a little bit too soon, so I'd recommend putting it somewhere about right here. Yeah. So yeah, the, the mouth can open super wide. It almost 90 degrees. It's really wide, so it can go and, and the neck can, has an up and down swivel. It can go up about that far and down somewhere around there. And the wings have probably the greatest articulation in this figure. They can do a 360 degree swivel and they can, you know, they have a hinge joint so they can go up and down so you can flap the wings like in a stop motion or something. And the legs, for the articulation, the legs are actually one piece. So you can't, like, if you move one leg, the, auto, the other leg will automatically move that way. Yeah. So that's pretty much all the articulation. If you want to count the, um, the tail, then I guess that could be articulation because you can bend it around. But I would count it as articulation if there's a bendy joint in there. So overall, great amount of articulation. Six points of articulation. So this is a very nice dinosaur toy, and wait. Wait a second. What? Dimorphodon is not a dinosaur. It's a subspecies of flying reptile. <laughs> yeah. You understand me? Wait. Ah! Ah! Put me down! Put me down! Ah! I just noticed that the inside of the mouth also has really good sculpt. <clears throat> the, the tongue is pretty well sculpted. And the, the roof of the mouth, it's not painted, which sucks, but it is pretty well sculpted. 
And also, if you want to scan the QR code for the app, you can go ahead and do that. Mattel did a really good job with this model. It looks just like the Dimorphodon from the movie. Or should I say, the dinosaur from the movie. Well, that's pretty much all there is to say about this awesome dinosaur toy. I mean, a uh, pterosaur toy. If you are interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews. Mm.